So uh, welcome everybody. This is Frank from Optics Warehouse and today we're going to be shooting off a tripod to help me here. And it's been a while since we've partnered up. I've got Sean spotting for me. Good to be uh, back. <laughs> it is. It's good to be back shooting again. So without further ado, are you happy, Sean? Yeah, crack yep. on. Okay, yeah. we're going to engage the small silver target. Just get locked on. Okay, shooters ready. Okay, thanks so much, Sean. So, what we're going to look at here is tripod shooting, the pros and cons, and also we're going to introduce this new tripod, the Wolf Raptor, and give it a good run out and see how it gets on. As you can see, the tripod is set up for the uh, standing position um, but of course you couldn't hold a weapon in a standing position for that period of time so the idea of a tripod is to set up and line it onto the target um, and then follow with the shots onto the target the only problem with tripod shooting is the recoil that occurs between shots so the key is in the setup of the tripod so what we've done with this one it, you can see it's quite well balanced. If I unlock the cradle now, the weapon's going to sit there without any disturbance. Um, also, and equally as important, the leading leg of a tripod is facing my target. So when I step in, I put the leg down to where the target I'm going to engage. One of the other important factors is the extension of the legs. The extension of the legs is simple. People get confused with this, but measure one leg out and then as you rotate the tripod extending the legs set them all up the same to start off and lock them off quite often if this was my rifle uh, and this position is set up for my standing position then i would have marked the tripod accordingly so i extend it to the marks and lock it off nice and simple equally my kneeling position would be different to my sitting position again so i'd have, have different marks perhaps even opening the legs of the tripod so I can get my legs underneath, particularly in the sitting position. Either way, it's, it's troll and error. The last thing you should do is come onto a target and just not be set up. Um, other key, key factors with this tripod, and the one we're using here is the Wolf Raptor. Um, so this is a, a, a new offering from Optics Warehouse, a carbon fibre tripod. It's got a camera type ball head with quite a simple lock and unlock system, which I quite like. Um, the head can be removed. We can also fit it with an Arca rail to fit the Arca uh, rails, which are mounted on uh, current rifles, like the AI, for example. And we've got a clamp here, clamp system, um, similar to some competitors, which are out there. Uh, again, cost effective. The Picatinny mounts on it can be reversed. So if you have external rails on your rifle, the, the mount can be taken off and reversed and clamp on the rails. So again, it's a pretty good feature. I've just clamped this hand tight and it's pretty robust. We're only shooting 762, but I'm quite confident that's staying on the target, it's not moving. Um, and, the, and the management of a recoil is quite easy with this system. Other helpful features, obviously the Setting up so we've got no cant on the rifle is done by the scope leveller. There is a bubble on the tripod which is helpful, but the key again is set up as long as your scope is level because that's where the cant's going to occur, not really so much on the tripod. What I'm talking about there is if you've got the weapon angled, then your elevation becomes a deflection, and certainly the more you angle to the right, the shots will go off to the target to the right. You cant it to the left it's the same on the left side. Um, so there we have it. So it's a quite good setup. We've left the bipod on, in this case the Harris. Uh, the Harris generally is not easy to put on and off. If you had a quick release bipod, then maybe you could consider removing that when you mount it on the tripod. Certainly in the army many years ago, it was fairly commonplace to remove it if you used any other position rather than bipod shooting. Yeah, so first impressions are good nice and steady um, if we wanted more weight on the tripod we've got a hook here which can be extended and we can hang 
my day pack or something similar on it. Um, equally, I'm quite confident with my hand being on the ball and the, the butt being in the shoulder. It, it's quite a stable position. I like the fact you can unlock and then just lock it back on again. Uh, some other ones have levers and things like this, uh, but this seems to work, so I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, so overall, pretty good.